What's going on, everybody? Plant Scott Picker. Real quick, uh, little video I wanted to do. And, uh, this is for all you guys starting out. And if you're just starting out, make sure you go back and watch all my videos about starting an appliance business and all that stuff. And I covered this in my starting an appliance repair business video. But I wanted to touch on it a little bit more and, and discuss it because uh, I think it's something that's oftentimes overlooked. When you're just getting started, you're just trying to get your name out there. My dad, he, my dad was a uh, was an economics professor and a small business professor. He taught small business at the uh, University of North Carolina. Oh, no, excuse me. He taught small business at the University of Richmond. Uh, he taught economics at William and Mary and economics at the University of North Carolina all at different times. But he was a very smart man when it came to business. Uh, he was at, at one time the uh, president of the Small Business Development Center here in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, so the dude knew his stuff and he knew about business and he taught me a lot about business. That's why I, I made it my life's goal to, to own my own business. Uh, and as I've said in other videos, I've owned many businesses. This isn't my first business. So if appliance repair doesn't work out for you, go try something else. Uh, but don't, don't ever stop pursuing you, whatever your thing is. But my dad taught me something. And there's an old saying, let your fingers do the walking. Uh, and what, and that, what that saying means is use the telephone. When you're first getting started, you should set aside a day where you've you've gone out, you've gone through Google or whatever, and you've just got a long list of phone numbers of different places that you could call to try to get work from. Real estate companies, property management companies, um, local contractors. Serve Pro, places like Serve Pro that do, um, that do like, uh, like if your house gets flooded, those people are always needing appliance guys. Uh, so contractors, things like that. But just get a long list of people. Think to yourself, who would need an appliance guy? Um, you know, and there's a whole list of people that you could be calling to get work from. And then get the numbers, sit down, and just call them. Call them up. Introduce yourself. Say, hey, I'd like to stop by and drop off some business cards and speak to, uh, you know, whoever's in charge. Some of the real estate places, they have these weekly morning meetings. You can get in on those. You can say, hey, I'd like to come do a little presentation. You go in there. You buy a couple dozen donuts and bring in a pot of coffee or whatever. And go in there and get your get your business ca business card in the hand of you know 20, 30 agents at one time. Um, but it all starts with a phone call. Um, just cold calls, just straight up cold call them. Say hey, I'm you know I've got X amount of years experience. I'm just starting my own business. I'd like for you to give me a chance. You'd be surprised. I got a lot of work that way when I first started out. Uh, I got people to this day that call me for appliance repair that are either property managers or uh, real estate agents. Some of them are, are, are pretty small accounts and some of them are pretty big accounts. Um, so, you know, that's just one thing you can do. A little idea. Um, get your name. Doesn't cost you anything. You know, all you did was make some phone calls cost you a little bit of time you know you, you already got hopefully if you're starting a business you already got um, business cards made up so do that get you a get you a list of people but then once you do it don't be the guy that freaking gets all these contacts and then doesn't follow through with it like call them back or get by there make sure you get by there and do 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 what you say you're going to do. Because the worst thing is going to look say, hey, I'm going to drop some business cards off. And then you never show up. 
But anyway, just a little idea for you new guys that are starting a business. I know it's not easy. Um, I know there's going to be times when you don't have work and you're thinking about quitting, but I guarantee you there's money in this business. So um, you uh, got to put your time in and get your name out there. But anyway, I hope this helps somebody. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.